All right, so now we're going to talk about the electric potential and potential energy. So last semester when we did classical mechanics, we learned that there were often two ways to solve problems. You can look at the forces, and you can calculate the net force on something, or you could look at the potential, um, you could look at the energy um, of the system. And if you look at the energy of the system, sometimes it's actually easier to calculate everything. So we're going to start by talking about the potential energy um, but from the electrostatic force. And then before we define the concept of the electric potential. Okay, so the amount of energy that can be carried with the electro electrostatic force is huge. So, you know, for instance, lightning strikes, and these are um, releasing some of this energy um, from the potential difference between the cloud and the ground. Um, so huge energies when you're talking large separations between charges. Um, you can start with the simplest case. Um, and we have the electric field. So in this case, you have a charge accelerated in a constant electric field. Um, as you hopefully remember from last semester, the work done is the integral of the dot product of the force with the path. So in this case, the um, path dr is in this direction, um, and it is in it is parallel to the to the force experienced by the charge. In this case, our test charge is positive. Um, so the force, um, switch colors. The force is given by QE and then the distance traveled D. Now this is in the case that the field is constant. Um, so you can think of this as well um, as analogous to the gravitational potential energy. So when you have a charge, a positive charge going into going in a certain direction. It's going in the direction where the um, where the field is decreased or where the potential energy is decreasing. So it's rolling down a like rolling down a hill. So when you have this constant um, field, that's saying that the slope of the hill is roughly constant. And you can talk about the displacement of this of some test charge in in a um, in a field. So here, um, if we want to calculate the um, the change in energy, so that we will use the form of the electric potential energy is k. Q1, Q2 over R. This does set the zero. This sets the zero so that at infinity, the potential goes to zero. So if you look at the electric potential energy as a function of distance from the charge, and actually, your book is using U, so I should use U. It goes like this. I switch the sign, bear with me. It goes like this. So that the electric potential energy is positive and goes to infinity as the separation goes to zero, and it goes to zero as the separation goes to infinity. Okay, so now we want to calculate the change in potential energy. Um, which is equal to the um, the change in potential energy is equal to negative the work. So our change in potential energy 
is sorry, it is going to be K Q one Q two times one over R in this case R final is R two minus one over R one. So nine times ten to the nine Newton meters squared per coulomb squared. Uh, that's Newton, yeah, Newton meters squared per coulomb squared times five times three times ten to the negative eighteen coulomb squared times 1 over 0.15 minus 1 over 0.1. And my handwriting gets a little cramped near the end. So that's the change in potential energy. That is going to be equal to negative the amount of work done on it. So the work done in this case is going to be it's going to lose potential energy so it's going to gain if you're doing work on it and the charge will actually accelerate as it moves um, as it moves away okay so then we went back to our definition of work is equal to the integral of f dot dr. So it can, it for this is the electrostatic force is a conservative force. That means it doesn't matter which path you use to get to two points. So I could do what I did in the last slide and just look at the endpoints, but you can calculate it yourself as well. Um, so the um, because it's a conservative force, you can go either way, any direction if you end up in the same place. So we're going to look at two different paths to go from point one to point two. Um, and if you do the first one, that is from straight from one to two you will get the same answer as if you go from 1 to 3 to 4 to 2. And a few things to point out here. Um, when you are on these segments, dr dotted with f is zero because your um, displacement is always perpendicular to the force. You're, you're going on the tangent to the curve. Oh, I deleted some of my highlighting too there. So, with me. So, the other thing to point out. So you're only left, so the points around the arc, those sections go to zero because the force is perpendicular to the displacement. Um, the two segments that I've highlighted now, the um, yellow and the red, those are um, both going from an outer radius, the same outer radius to the same inner radius, and your potential depends only on the radius. So your change in potential energy is going to go to be the same along those paths. So if you calculate it um, by hand the long ugly way, you will see that the um, the work done in these two segments is the same, whereas the work done here and here is zero. Now, if you had a non-conservative force, that would not be true because you don't—you would have 
um, if you say had friction, you're losing energy as you go along the, you're losing, um, you're, the energy that is, that you're putting, that's going into friction is going to, into heat um, in the system, and so you can't really get it back easily. Okay, now if you do a closed path, it doesn't matter which one, let's say one, well, let's just do easy, one to two, one to three, to four, to two, to one, that is going to give you uh, zero. So the two segments that are perpendicular, um, you're still going to have these two guys go to zero because the force is perpendicular to the displacement. But in this this case, the force dotted with dr greater than zero. In this case, the force dotted with dr is less than zero. So your dr, your force is this way, and your dr is that way. But here your force is this way, and your dr is that way. So these two, um, these two cancel each other out. 